Okay, we're up uh, here on a a big copper chimney, um, and it looks like everything's cut in. You know, they cut the riglets in and all that good stuff. Looks okay, right? Wrong. What they didn't do is they didn't put a spring clip on these uh, these sections of uh, counter. See, because it it'll just slide right out if you just, you know just move it, it'll come out. What they should have done was they should have put a spring clip. They should have put one more bend on this to make it stay in. They also use something called Vulcan caulk, um, and that's some stuff that really isn't any good. Um, if you can see, this is where you know water's been like draining down in through there. Um, I was here a couple months ago and I found this, so the homeowner's going to go ahead and give us the okay to. Uh, redo this chimney. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take out all of this counter flashing and uh, we're going to bend more and we're going to put spring clips on it. There's probably a good chance that we will also replace this cricket depending on how far they ran the metal up past these shingles. Um, what they did was they used something called a gutter seal. They sealed gutters up instead of actually soldering their copper. Um, so most likely we'll replace the uh, cricket too. Um, I also noticed uh, one more thing on this roof. I just started looking around. They've got their uh, front or kick out pan on the front and it shows the metal. I, I agree with that. That's a pretty good idea. Um, but what I don't agree with is this shingle here. This shingle should be underneath this metal. Um, for the simple fact is that they've got their their material cut off right here, and you know a good snowstorm will get you know it'll get in there. It's not a good place to cut your uh, roofing material off at. What is that right there? All right, but anyway, I'll get started on this chimney. And then we'll see what's going on.